Welcome to our podcast, your go-to destination for improving your English skills. Whether you're a beginner looking to build a strong foundation or an advanced learner aiming for fluency, this podcast is here to support you on your language journey. Join us as we explore grammar tips, vocabulary expansion, real-life conversations, and much more. Let's embark on this exciting linguistic adventure together. Ready to level up your English? Let's dive in. Hi, Robin. How are you doing today? I'm good, thanks. How about you? I'm fine, too. Hey, I wanted to share some tips with you about English speaking. Are you interested? Sure, I'm always eager to learn new things. What are the tips? Well, the first tip is to narrate your everyday life in English. This is a very effective technique to improve your speaking skills. How can I do that? What do you mean by narrating? I mean, you can talk to yourself or to someone else about what you are doing, what you see, what you feel, and what you think. For example, you can ask yourself questions like, What am I doing? What are those people doing? What do I see around me? What do I want to do next? And then you can answer them in English. Sounds good. I'll try that for sure. Do you do that too? Yes, I do. And trust me, if you practice regularly, you will notice a big improvement in your speaking skills. You will become more fluent, confident and expressive. Should I speak loudly or softly? Well, that depends on the situation. If you are alone or with someone who doesn't mind, you can speak loudly. But if you are in a public place or with someone who might be annoyed, you can speak softly or just think in English. The important thing is to use English as much as you can. I see. Thank you for the tip, Ronika. What is the second tip? The second tip is to improve your pronunciation. You should pay attention to how native speakers or fluent speakers of English pronounce words and sentences. You should also practice repeating what you hear and correcting your mistakes. How can I do that? Do you have any examples? Sure, I have some examples. Suppose you listen to a sentence like, What a beautiful day. You can repeat it after the speaker and try to imitate their accent, tone and rhythm. You can also record yourself and compare your pronunciation with the original. You can do this with any sentence or phrase that you hear or read. For example, you can say, The weather is beautiful, the sky is blue, the birds are singing, and so on. I see. That sounds like a good way to practice. Thank you for the tip, Ronika. Do you have any more tips? Yes, I have two more tips. Do you want to hear them? Yes, please. I'm curious to know more. The third tip is to expand your vocabulary. You should learn new words and phrases every day. You can use a dictionary or an app to help you with that. You can also read books, articles, blogs, or anything that interests you in English. You can write down the words that you don't know and look them up later. You can also make sentences with them to practice using them in context. That sounds like a good idea. I do read some English text sometimes, but I don't always understand everything. I should try to look up the words that I don't know and learn their meanings and usage. Do you have any recommendations for what to read? Well, that depends on your level and your interests. You can start with something simple and easy, like children's books, comics, or magazines. You can also read something that you are familiar with in your own language, like a translated novel or a movie script. You can also read something that relates to your hobbies, your studies, or your work. For example, if you like sports, you can read about your favorite teams or players. If you are studying science, you can read about the latest discoveries or inventions. If you work in business, you can read about the market trends or the best practices. 
The key is to find something that you enjoy and that motivates you to learn more. I see. That makes sense. I think I will try to read more in English and learn new words and phrases. Thank you for the tip, Ronika. The fourth and final tip is to practice speaking with native speakers or fluent speakers of English. You can join a language exchange program, a conversation club, or an online community where you can meet and talk to people who speak English. You can also find a tutor, a mentor, or a friend who can help you improve your speaking skills. You can ask them to correct your mistakes, give you feedback, and teach you new expressions. You can also learn from their accent, their tone, their gestures, and their culture. You can also have fun and make new friends while learning English. That sounds like a great tip. I think speaking with real people can help me overcome my fear and nervousness of speaking English. It can also help me improve my confidence and fluency. Where can I find native speakers or fluent speakers of English to talk to? There are many ways to find them. You can search online for language exchange apps or platforms where you can sign up and find a partner who speaks English and wants to learn your language. You can also look for local or online groups, clubs or events where you can meet and chat with people who share your interests and speak English. I see. That sounds like there are many options to choose from. I think I will try to find someone who can speak with me in English and help me practice. Thank you for the tip, Ronica. And thank you for all the tips that you gave me today. You are very kind and helpful. You're very welcome, Robin. It was my pleasure to share these tips with you. I hope you find them useful and apply them to your English learning. I'm sure you will improve your speaking skills if you practice regularly and consistently. I wish you all the best in your English journey. Thank you so much, Ronica. You are a great friend and a great teacher. I appreciate your support and encouragement. I will keep in touch with you and let you know about my progress. Have a wonderful day. You too, Robin. Bye for now. Don't forget to practice new words. We will learn new words from this conversation. Annoyed. Imitate. Expand. Nervousness. Consistently. Gestures. She gave me an annoyed look. Can you imitate his accent? Take a deep breath and expand your chest. I think the team played consistently this season. His facial expressions and hand gestures leave little doubt as to what he is thinking. If you found the video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel.